Hey guys, it's me, My Reborn, and I am back with another video. Today is Saturday, October 14th, and it's currently 4.23 p.m., and I have baby Milano here for you all. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out the best angle. Okay. Okay, so I have Milano here for you guys. And I am going to be doing not really a hair care video, but just me showing you guys like how I take care and maintain his hair. So I believe Milano has human hair. He did have mohair at first, but then he actually had got his hair, his head rerouted, and now he has human hair. I did not do any of this. Um, the uh, first ever person that got him as a custom had did all of this so i don't really have much information but i do know that much because like you guys know i kept up with this baby forever and i am his third mommy but anyways you guys are like what's on his head he has a little baggy so these things had came with my i'm pretty sure my oh my gosh what's in your hair buddy i haven't did his hair in a long long time it is a piece of cardboard <laughs> I don't know how a piece of cardboard got in there but anyways I haven't done his hair in a very very long time so I am going to show you guys how I how I do it it probably looks super super mad at right now because he's lays down 24 7 and like I said I haven't did in a while and he still has these little two little ponytails in his hair so let me show you guys what you are going to need it's going to be self-explanatory because i do have a topic i would like to talk about the topic's not going to be long so if i have time to go in details of what i'm doing i will anyways any type of spray bottle i use this small one when the hair like just got done not too long ago like recently because it won't take as much water but when the hair has been sitting like how milano has and i haven't done it in a while i'm going to use the big spray bottle because it shoots out more water and then this one would take too long for his hair to get wet because we're going to make sure his hair is super, super wet. That's that's the key. And then you really don't need much. Just a tooth. Well, I use a toothbrush because it's small like a baby brush. So I just get a brand new toothbrush out the pack and I just use it as the hair brush. And I do swap them out, but I don't swap them out frequently because it's literally nothing on here. Just water and then probably a little bit of... um hair products but it won't hurt harm or hurt his hair so yeah i won't switch out this two brush for another brand new one to start doing the hair mm, maybe i'll switch it out by the end of this year and then you could also use like a small comb like this depending on the texture of your baby's hair but if your baby has some really really curls like some tight curls this will not be good because it's too small and it just rip your baby hair out and then you can also even use a brush or whatever so let me go ahead and get started and today's topic is why are so many people leaving the community and this is not new people have left the community all the time back in like 2015 so many people left the community like i had a whole bunch of friends and they all left after like being in the community well they were in for quite a while but I, you guys know I joined in 2013, so by like 2015, they were all gone and out of the community. So this isn't anything new. People come and people go, you know. There are only a handful of people that have stayed in the community or at least stayed consistent. Because even myself, I wasn't really consistent because... I guess technically I didn't leave, but I didn't, I didn't have a baby for a really, really long time, like a few years. But I've been consistent with a baby in the community since 2017. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of people don't stay in this community forever. But now more than anything, I feel like a lot of people are leaving. So I was just kind of observing and seeing like why they are leaving. And this is obviously my opinion. These are not true facts. <laughs> this is just my opinion. 
Anyways, you always have to make sure when you're dealing with rubber bands, you have to be very, very extremely careful because rubber bands can pull the baby's hair. So when you use them, you just want to make sure you're extremely careful not to do them too tight. And when you're taking them down, you can either cut them, make sure you don't cut the baby's hair, or you can unravel it like I did. Anyways, as you guys can see, his hair is all sticking up because, again, he hasn't had his hair done in a few months. So anyways... This is my reasonings on why I think that people are leaving the community. As you guys can see, I emphasized I because, again, this is just my opinion. It's not true facts. Well, eh, kind of facts, but <laughs> it's not true facts as to why people are leaving is what I mean. So, I honestly think, I'm going to just put it out here. I think artists are charging way too much. And... Of course, they can do that. When you're an artist, you can charge however much you want to charge. If you want to charge $50,000 for a baby, go ahead and do that. So don't get me wrong. Just because I'm saying this, don't be like, oh my. Okay. Don't be like, oh my gosh. Why is she saying that? Or girl, whatever, things like that. Because I, like, I agree. People can charge however much they want to charge with these babies. I have the tripod on the bed and it's really make me mad because it keeps falling over like stay still why are you falling over dude okay guys i just had to do a whole 360 with the tripod and camera and take you guys off of the bed and set you up on the floor because you guys kept falling over all right so this might be a worse angle because you guys aren't really close well i guess i can zoom in a little bit i was gonna say you guys aren't really close to like his hair but anyways, I totally forgot my train of thought. So I'm so, so sorry, guys. That Like, this is what happens when something happens during the filming process. Well, at least with me, anyway. If I don't say it now, I'm going to forget it. So I've been trying to write it down, but then sometimes I get off, I get off track a little bit. So anyways, again, I just personally think artists are charging way, way too much. Back when I first started, of course I know it's not 2006 anymore and prices are going to go up and people are going to get better and blah 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 and supplies and materials and things like that. But they haven't went up so much where people are charging $6,000 for a vinyl dial. Like, let's just be honest. You can still get a blank kit for $50. <laughs> like, they haven't went up so much where I feel like prices need to go up that much. But again, hey, that's just my opinion and maybe you guys like paying that or feel like they're worth it and some of them are so whatever i also feel like since the since a lot of artists are going up a lot of times the babies do sit you know sometimes people get lucky and their baby sells after 20 seconds of being posted and the baby's like four thousand dollars and it got paid off in full that has happened a lot of times that is still happening right now so artists still can very much sell their dolls for a lot of money and still make a decent amount but as of lately only certain artists are able to do that and get all of that money in full and i feel like the artists that aren't able to do that kind of make others feel bad and by others i mean like customers they make customers feel bad because their dolls aren't selling and they threaten to leave the community or they threaten to stop creating dolls or stop selling dolls and it's like hey why are you mad at us because your baby isn't selling or i'm just like i'm not understanding like it's tough times out here people don't have that much money lying around to buy a dow and then it doesn't help when you're not offering layaway or payment plans so you can't get mad at us and say oh well my dows aren't selling so i'm done with the community and i'm done with the hobby when you're not trying to get them sold if you were trying to get them sold then you'll do everything in your power to and again you'll do a layaway or payment plan so I just don't like when I see artists doing that and trying to make people feel bad because their babies aren't selling. Well, hey, neither are mine. So, but yeah, again, I just think people just don't have that to spend right now. 
and when they do they're doing the best options they can which is again some type of payment plan as you guys can see I am starting at the bottom of his hair at the ends because they are really tangled up and then when I see that it's not tangled up anymore I just comb right through it I also think that this is kind of going back into the price thing I also think that a lot of people are charging and I'm not talking about established artists that their work literally looks like the baby's about to breathe because rightfully so go ahead and charge 30,000 I'm talking about the beginner artist that have been painting for six months two years already charging a thousand two thousand dollars like whoa 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 slow down buckaroo my five-year-old little cousin could paint that I feel like when people enter the hobby now there aren't a lot of dows available that are in a good price range that are worth it you know I know I keep referencing back in the day and I know it's not back in the day but I remember you can get a good decent dial for two hundred dollars you try to search up things that are two hundred dollars now your options are limited and then you're like well I may as well spend a lot more money on get something I like and yeah you should instead of just settling so I kind of will talk about the layaway and payment plans options anymore. I think that is also affecting why people are just leaving because like I said, people want new dials. Like some people don't and some people are limit themselves to a dial a year, but most people want new dials in their collection. And again, going back to artists and sellers, they aren't offering any layaway or payment plans for dials that are over a thousand dollars. And then they'd be surprised when no one is buying. But a lot of people don't have $2,000 in their bank account for luxury items. And this is considered a luxury item because no one really needs a Dow. And I just feel like it's kind of crazy that people aren't offering leeway on Dows that are $1,000 and more. I can understand if you don't want to offer leeway on a $400 Dow. That is totally, that's acceptable. Like, I will understand why. However, I do. I offer a layaway on all my dolls. I had a hundred fifty dollar doll, I think, and I offer layaway. Like it's no biggie. You have to work with people sometimes. It feels like nobody wants to work with people. And these artists are so rude nowadays, it's like goodness, I'll take my money and I'll just buy me a Louis Vuitton bag or something. <laughs> like I just feel like a lot of the time artists just don't want their dolls sold. Point blank period. I just feel like no one would want to spend a thousand dollars in full when you can find something else for like seven hundred, eight hundred, even nine hundred dollars with the payment plan. So it's not only cheaper, but you also have a little bit of time to pay it off. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, I probably have more reasons on why people are leaving the community, <laughs> but I had this in my notes for about almost two months now, and it had these lists listed on there and I probably was in the middle of typing more but I just never did so I'm just going to stop here since this video is already long enough but as you guys can see his hair is like all nice and detangled and all I used was water and then the comb and yeah I can now comb his hair from the you guys saw I just got stuck a little bit so I just add more water but look, I can now comb his hair from the root to the end now. And then I can get my brush and I can style it. So what should we do to his hair? I do have some rubber bands over here, but I'm going to let his hair take a, take a break from the rubber bands. But I'll probably do another rubber band style later on. I hope you guys cannot see. Oh, let me zoom you guys out a little bit. There we go. I guess I could just leave it curly at the top, right? Anyways, guys, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. You guys can let me know in the comments below 
why you think people are leaving a hobby. Oh, maybe they just outgrown dolls as well. That is very much true. They could just outgrown dolls. They could have started a family and no longer have time for the dolls. Um, I know a lot of people enter, not a lot of people, but mainly a few people enter when they're young and then they just get older and they're no longer interested in dolls. So that could also be another reason. Another reason is they can no longer afford the dolls and they had like an emergency so they had to sell all their dolls and they can no longer afford to get another one. So they were like, oh, forget it. So there, there are many, many reasons why people are leaving the hobby. But I just feel like the ones that I had talked about earlier are the main reasons because it just simply costs too much. Anyways, guys, I won't take any more of you guys' time because this video is already long enough. So this is Milano and this is his hair it's so cute i wish i knew who rooted him because i don't think it was the same person that painted him but he is rooted phenomenally one hair at a time one hair per hole and he isn't shiny that's just water on his face and this bright ring light <laughs> all right guys so that is it for today's video I do have babies for sale and I do offer Lil Way. <laughs> so if you guys are seriously S E R I O U S L Y, if you guys are seriously interested in any of the babies I have for sale, don't hesitate to message me. And if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys like to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including your video request. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys will be notified when I post another video. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.